Some big city thinking helps with a renovation project in Warren. Students from a New York City school spent the weekend getting to know the ins and outs of the dilapidated Robbins Theater. But this project isn't just about the theater. It's actually part of a bigger plan to revitalize downtown. First News reporter Julie Bursick explains. When you look beyond the paint chips and dusty seats, you can see the beauty of the Robbins Theater. You don't understand the magnitude until you come in here, and it's just breathtaking. Warren native Melissa Holmes has heard the stories of the Robbins. She always wondered about the 1,200-seat theater that closed in 1974. Turns out her boyfriend's uncle owns the building. Now she's spearheading an effort to renovate the Robbins. The long-term goal in this project is to identify the community's wants and needs. This, this project's never been looked at before in such a way. To get started, Melissa got in touch with her professors at the New School of Design in New York. 16 students spent the weekend in Warren, walking through the aisles and stairs of the theater so they can come up with ideas on how to bring new life to the building. I think one of them would be like to use this actually for uh, workshops like theater, dancing, recording, you know, like really bringing youth in here is going to be amazing. Student teams will focus on things like design, reuse and financing the project. What they're trying to do is really um, create a cultural vibrancy in this area so that more people, more businesses will want to locate here. They'll be back in Warren in a few months to present their research. It lends itself naturally to an arts and culture center, but we have some serious needs within our community, especially for youth engagement. And so we're really looking at this and hoping that the community will share with us what they want this space to be. For Melissa, the project is personal. She's traveled the world. But her heart is in her hometown. Warren has so much opportunity, and that is the most important aspect of this whole story. You can make anything happen. We can make Warren what we want it to be. In Warren, Julie Bursick, WKBN 27 First News.